I mean, it was a hard-fought game. Wofford's a really good football team, very fundamental. They're, you know, I think that'll be a good matchup next week, them and Kennesaw. We certainly had our chances, particularly early. You know, didn't convert on the fourth and one. Uh, defense, really proud of their effort and their fight and their tenacity. Uh, you know, wasn't always perfect. We gave up too many yards between the tackles in the second half, but, uh, you know, we fought till the end. Offense, uh, you know, those two turnovers in the third quarter are killers. You know, the fourth and one that you don't make it hurts you. Uh, we left play, we didn't run the ball very well. Uh, credit to Wofford. Uh, we left plays in the pass game out on the field. Uh, and they deserved to win. They won and they deserved to the win. I don't think you can minimize the accomplishments that our seniors have made uh, in the last two years uh, in turning this program around and getting a jump started <coughs> to win eight games in a row last year, make the playoffs this year, to start strong, beating people decisively, go up to JMU and be the first team to beat them up there in 20-some games. And then the injury bug hit us. It's not an excuse, but it's a fact. You know, we played without nine or ten starters today. Uh, Daniel Thompson filled in. He's our third quarterback to start. We came down here confident, believing we could win. Uh, just didn't happen. It's the first time in school history that we've made the playoff two years in a row. We really wanted to win uh, our first playoff game. So disappointed because uh, I thought the players really laid it out on the field. But uh, Wofford deserved to win, and they did win.